Hi guys, so a good brother of mine, Heartmaker44, sent me uh, a flashlight and um, he kind of wanted to see the difference between this and the Surefire. So shortly after this I've got the side-by-side uh, -side uh, differences so that you can take a look at what it looks like in, in the dark. Um, first off, differences. Costco's one's a little bit uh, fatter, but it's uh, but it's it's good. Uh, so there you go. Uh, there's a size difference. Um, from the front crown difference. Okay. Uh, the one from Costco's got a little bit thinner crown. Whereas the Surefire one has a little bit of a deeper crown, or the strike bezel, I guess. Um, back end, one from Costco doesn't have a strike bezel, uh, the or a strike crown or whatever. Um, Surefire does. Uh, let's go through modes of operation. Surefire, uh, full power, first shot, and then after the full power, then you get the work like so be that for what it is and that's the only two modes you get with the other one from Costco you've got low power high power stroke so there you go um, the one from Costco uses three AAA batteries Whereas the one from Surefire uses two A123 batteries. The reason why I bring that up is because it's important. Because if you're in a survival situation or something like that, it's going to be a heck of a lot easier to find the AAA batteries, which you could scrounge out of a. Uh, any pr pretty much anything uh, out of even a remote and with the A123 batteries it's going to be hard to find unless you have them stockpiled or rechargeables um, yeah it could be hard to find um, they both have good knurling on them they, they've got a good grip to them uh, outside of that um, Durability, I think they're both pretty darn durable. Um, which one would I carry if I had a choice between the two? Uh, I'd have a hard time choosing. I would uh, I'd just as easily carry either one of them. Um, if my wife was not eyeing this one, because she is, um, I would see this as a very good weapon light in the future. Um, because of its size, because of the way it handles things. Um, if I were to put a classification so that you can, so it's easier to understand, uh, the Surefire would be a tactical light first, handyman light second. This would be a handyman light first, tactical light second. The reason why I say that is the first light that you go to with the Surefire is the powerful one. The first light that you go to with this one is the handyman light. Um, the differences also is this one allows you to depress the switch halfway and get a quick flash and then release it and then you're good. And then it's off. Whereas with this one it's either on or it's off. There is no halfway. So that's the only other difference. But there you go. So here's the uh, comparison and uh, Thank you once again, Heartmaker. Thanks, brother. Because, uh, yeah. Definitely going to be in uh, in my wife's EEC and in my EEC in the future. Thank you. Okay, guys. First, the Surefire. That's the 200 lumen beam off the Surefire. Okay. Here's the 5 lumen beam from the Surefire. Okay. Here's the five lumen beam from Heart from Heartmaker's light. 
200 lumen beam from our maker's light. And since this one from Heartmaker has the strobe, there's what the strobe looks like. So, for what it is, make your choice. But, uh, 200, 5, none, 5, 200, strobe. It's your choice. I appreciate your comments, I appreciate your views, I appreciate your time. Defend your homes wisely.